Yo, what is up guys? Welcome to another Wild Rift video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you an updated Galio build and some really, really cool gameplay that I did on Galio. I played like 20 games of Galio in one day just to give you guys a good video. And um, if you want to skip out the part where I explain the build, timestamps in the description. And I'm giving away seven skins in April, guys. All you got to do is put down a comment under the videos that I uploaded in April. Okay. So let's talk about the build. I'm, I have I have an updated build right now. Many, many different things. So there's actually a lot to say. I'm pretty sure the build part is going to take pretty long. So let's start talking. As your first item, by the way, I'm talking about mid lane Galio. I haven't tried to support Galio yet. I'm talking about mid lane Galio here. So let's let's talk. So there are several first items that you can go for. First of all, you can go for Leandris. When do you go for Leandris? Let me explain. First of all, if the enemies have a lot of tanks, Leandris is going to be really nice because this deals 1% of the enemy's damage. So if the enemy is very tanky and especially if you have a tanky matchup, Leandris is going to be really, really nice. Second reason to get Leandris. Get Leandris if you want a lot of early game damage and um, health. Just basically, this is, this is basically a really good early game item. When you can get this before the first dragon, you have a lot of damage. Okay, let's talk about a different item, which is Rod of Ages. Now, this item is different. Um, this item is a late game item. This item is going to provide you with 250 health, 60 ability power, and 300, 300 uh, mana regen. As you can see, that's not as much as the Leandris, and of course, you're not going to have the passive that deals a lot of damage to the enemies as well. However, the thing about this item is, get it if you just want to relax in the early game. If you want to focus on the late game. Because this item, after you get this item, it takes 5 minutes until this item gets uh, another bonus 60 ability power, 200 max health and 100 mana. So, 5 minutes after purchasing this item, it will actually give you 450 health, 120 ability power and 400 max mana. And if you compare it to the Leandris, of course, that's almost double. That's a lot. So, keep that in mind. So, I have experimented a lot, a lot, a lot. I have, let me talk about an item that I've experimented which I didn't like, but you might give it a try as well. I have tried Winter's Approach second item because this item gives you a lot of mana and a lot of cooldown reduction. However, I concluded that this is not a good item because it's just like it lacks damage. It's really good for providing you cooldown reduction, but it really lacks damage. So, you know, I've tried to do this, but no, it's not good. Now, I have also tried to go for full Rabadon's Death Cap second or more, 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 the blue, the, the green book. It's the green book now, actually. Um, I have also tried, uh, by the way, talking about the green book second item, this is, this, this is not really good. Like, you want to get the green book as a late game item or... Let me tell you when you should get the green book as a second item. You should get green book as a second item if the enemies have a lot of healing. Okay, if they have a lot of healing, it is actually viable to get the green book as the second item. Now, I've also tried Leandri's second item. Now, the damage is okay. It's just there is, there is, there is a better alternative, which is Abyssal Mask, guys. But I want to say something. I really want to say something. Abyssal Mask has same passive as uh, Rod of Ages, which is Eternity. So when you go for Abyssal Mask second item, it's going to be better to start with a Leandris. And this is my favorite build right now. Right now, Leandris Abyssal Mask is kind of my favorite build. But sometimes I go for Rod of Ages, as I said. If I just want to have late game damage, then it's okay to stack the passives because what Abyssal Mask does, and let me tell you when it's actually good, Abyssal Mask, when you go into the enemy, like all the enemy champions that you're close to are going to take 15% bonus, bonus magic damage. So they'll take bonus magic damage from you and from your allies. When should you go for this item? Let me tell you. So Abyssal Mask is going to be very nice, first of all, if you need magic resist. Secondly, if... If, um, if you're going to be into the enemies a lot, like if you want to engage on the enemies a lot, then Abyssal Mask is going to be amazing. And another reason to get Abyssal Mask is if your teammates actually have a lot of ability power. My camera crashed, so let's fix it real quick. So let's say your teammates have Seraphim support, Cannon top lane. If you have that, go for Abyssal Mask because you're, you're not only going to increase your damage, you're also going to increase your allies' damage. So keep that in mind. So... I'm going to say it real quick now what my favorite build is. It's either Rod of Ages or Leandris first. Then I go for Abyssal Mask. Okay, that's that's it. The first two items. Um, so as your boots, 
I really like Mercury's threats because it skills really well with uh, what is this champion called? Galio. I actually forgot the name. Uh, Mercury's threat skills really well with Galio because Galio works really, really well with magic resist and against ability power champions. Um, keep that in mind, by the way, when drafting Galio. Galio is really, really good against ability power champions. You know, he he, he kind of sucks against attack damage. Let me tell you a huge counter to Galio, which is um, which is Kaisa. Wow, Kaisa absolutely demolishes Galio. I don't know why, but I've played against some Kaisas and I really feel like Kaisa absolutely hard counters Galio. So, yes. Also, Camille does quite good into him. So, after you get either Leandris and Road of Ages and then after the Abyssal Mask, you either want, like, as I said, you either want to go Mercury Threat or Ionian Boots of Lucidity. Go for Ionian Boots if you feel like you don't, like, you don't need the extra magic resist. Now, here, it's completely situational. Let me explain. If the enemies have a lot of healing or if the enemies have the green dragon the green dragon go for the green book I, I this item is random here by the way don't go for this go for the green book now if the enemy is very squishy go for rabadon's death cap like as your third item this is huge this item is huge it deals so much damage if the enemies are squishy keep that in mind if the enemies have magic resist go for void staff why does my camera crash every time go for void staff and um, let's see. Okay, it's fixed. Go for Void Staff. I really like the Void Staff, by the way, guys. Don't skip this item. So I want to mention something. Let's say the enemy is very tanky, but they also have healing. What should you go for? Let me tell you. If they if they have a lot of healing and they're tanky, with tanky, I mean magic resist, go for the Green Book because the Green Book provides you 15% magic penetration. Let me tell you an item that I don't like on, uh, on uh, Galio, which is Infinity Orb. I don't like Infinity Orb. I, I just don't. I really feel like he, he, he really needs that flat ability power and the other passives are just better. Like you'll finish off the enemies anyways. I, I don't like it. You know, you could give it a try, but I don't like it. Um, there's also a thing, Lich Bane. This could potentially be good if you really want to utilize your passive, like your passive basic attack that smashes the ground. I don't like it, but it could work as a late game item if you really feel like your basic attacks are going to hit the enemy's heart. Now, Ludens Echo is yet another item that could be good in the late game. Use this item if you don't want to engage, okay? Use this item if you don't want to engage. Um, now, of course, this doesn't fit well with the Abyssal Mask, but I'm just mentioning when you should buy this item. Use this item if you just want to poke with your first ability. Okay, that was pretty much it. Like, you need to... I don't know why this item is here, by the way. It's kind of a random item. Like, you you need to itemize correctly when playing Galio. It's really, really important. Like, I've tried many, many things, and itemizing has been super important. So, let's talk about the runes. During my guide, I actually mentioned Electrocute, but Aftershock is better. Now, Aftershock is better because, as it reads, after immobilizing an enemy, you will gain defense and deal a burst of damage. So, when you use your second ability, when you use your third ability... And when you use your ultimate, you can proc Aftershock, which is absolutely huge. So, especially your third ability or your second ability, when you engage, you're going to get a lot of defense as it reads. It, it's 35 armor, 35 magic resist, and it skills with bonus uh, armor and magic resist. So, this is absolutely huge. And you're also going to deal damage after that. So, go for Aftershock. Now, here... Um, um, go for Brutal, because Brutal is just going to be better. Um, so let me tell you when you should go for Gathering Storm. Go for Gathering Storm if you feel like you don't need uh, magic penetration, okay? Let me explain. So Gathering Storm is obviously late game, but Brutal is, is just better than Gathering Storm, unless you don't need magic penetration. Like, let's say you're against enemy Seraphim, Ezreal, uh, uh, Orianna, Evelyn, and Cannon top lane which is a full squishy comp, if you are against that, don't go for Brutal, go for Gathering Storm. You can even go for Champion, but I don't recommend it, because Galio is late game. Like, Champion is gonna make it really hard. You know, just go for Champion if you think you can survive with Galio. I wouldn't do it, but you can do it. Like, as I said, go for Brutal or Gathering Storm if you feel like you don't need the magic penetration. Here, I go for conditioning. As I said, Galio is a late game champion, and I like my playstyle with him is to just kind of chill in the early game. Of course, you rotate and stuff, but in the late game is where he really shines. That's why I get conditioning, 
the bonus armor and magic resist really scale well with him and it, it's it, it really helps a lot you know so that's why i go for it and here i go for mana flow bands and that's just because i want to spam his abilities honestly like you can you can go for sweet tooth you can even go for hunter genius it's just hunter genius is very risky because getting unique takedowns with galio is not the easiest thing to do so i just go for mana flow band um and as your spells i like to go for barrier unless unless you really need to ignite go for barrier so let's get into the gameplay and now i'm actually not gonna uh, skip it because if i had to skip it i i would have had to edit the video which i don't want to do one second uh, i don't know which i don't want to do because if I edit the video, it's going to take like an hour or so to render. And it's 4 a.m. right now. And tomorrow morning, I have to go away. So unfortunately, today's video is not going to be very professional. You know, the transition is not very smooth. But, you know, it is what it is. I'm sorry for it, but it's either this or no video. So let's look at this game. I'm playing Galio and I have a very, very interesting matchup, which is Zix. Now, Zix is, I would say, a very hard matchup for Galio because if you're unable to dodge his uh, bombs you're gonna suffer a lot and I actually it's this game is very interesting because I make beautiful plays but I also make idiotic mistakes so when 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 I make beautiful plays and idiotic mistakes I have a perfect video right so let's take a look at how I play against Zix and as you can see I'm already like walking in my lane in a weird pattern and the reason for that is because I really want to dodge his bombs like, I really, really, really want to dodge his first ability. Like, here, you can see. I'm paying super close attention to when he's throwing it. And I'm making sure that I'm dodging it. Because if I take free damage from it, like, why would I take free damage from it? It's, it's useless. Look at this beautiful engage, however. Boom! Absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, it's a Zix. He can still out-damage me. Like, I outplayed him in this engage, but, you know, it's still questionable whether or not you should take it. Like, as I said, as a Galio, you kind of want to chill in the early game. And unless you really see an opportunity to go in, go in. Like, here you can see I saw an opportunity again, and I forced his shield, and now I'm running. You know, this was good. This is how you want to play Galio in the early game. Play safe, but whenever you see a little opportunity where you can easily hit the enemy go in because you can do a tiny little combo with all your abilities look at this i'm so stupid I, I i wasted my flash because i wanted the big minion now that is that is the how greedy can you be like i knew that i would i would have had to waste my flash i actually knew but i still went for it because i guess i'm an idiot sometimes but <laughs> Okay, let's not talk about that too much. So let's talk about how to lane with Galio again. Like as I said, I played 20 games of Galio. I lost games, I won games, you know, I, I kind of analyzed how I had to play. And now I'm bringing you guys a video to explain to you how you should really play him. So I made a Galio guide yesterday. If you haven't seen it already, you can watch it to really understand how to do all the combos and everything. And um, like as you can see in this video, I'm rotating to my team. And let's take a look. I actually failed my second ability, but boom! Easy combo, easy kill. Rotate and help your team. Like, when you get ahead on Galio, you're in a really, really good spot. All you gotta do is not throw the game, not throw your lead, and you'll skill really well in the late game. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about what I'm gonna build in this game. So I'm pretty sure I'm gonna go for Rod of Ages. And look at my beautiful engages though. Like you can you can really catch off uh, enemies off guard with your third ability. You know, it dashes pretty far. Oh, look at that damage though from the... I actually tried to hit him again, which was pretty bad of me. But... Look at this. Oh! <laughs> I saw my Evelyn. So I kind of went for the engage, but I went a little too far and I almost died. I almost died. So yeah, let's talk about build. Now, as you can see, I bought a Rod of Ages in this game. Now, the reason for that is because I'm already ahead. I'm already ahead. So I don't really need a light Leandris to survive the early game. So what I want to do is I want to get tanky in the late game and I want to stack up my damage. You know, I just want to chill and I want to stack up my damage. So that's why I got a Rod of Ages and it's a very early Rod of Ages too. I got it at minute three. So whenever it's minute eight, I already have the full bonus of it, which is absolutely huge. Like that's huge, huge, huge. So um, um, as I said, you want to get Leandris if you really feel like you need the bonus damage in the early game. 
or if the enemies have a lot of tanks. It's only these two reasons. If you want to scale into the late game, get Rod of Ages, okay? If the enemy is squishy, get Rod of Ages. That's basically how you need to do it. And um, take, let's take a look at how I play. Again, I'm paying attention to my map, helping my teammate kill the Shivana. And look at this. He actually filled his flash, but I managed to secure the dragon. Uh, he filled his smite. So let's take a look. Look at this. I'm, ha I'm half-life. I just take the heal. But I have my I almost have my abilities ready. So I can fight whenever necessary. Yeah, I'm just, you know, CSing the lane, chilling. <clears throat> So in this game, again, I'm going Mercury's Threats because first of all, these, these boots are really, really nice for um, Galio. And secondly, we're against a lot of uh, uh, magic power. Look at what I'm going to do here. Like, I just completely inted for a useless kill. Why would I do this? This was a stupid mistake. I don't know why I did it. Like, the, the Corky is not even fed. And I just killed myself for the Corky. That was absolutely stupid. Like, as I mentioned earlier in the video, when you're playing Galio and you're winning early game, you don't want to throw, you know, don't give the enemies kills. So as you can see, in this game, I'm building an Abyssal Mask. And the reason for that is because the enemies have a lot of ability power and I want to fully engage on the enemies. And there is actually another reason for that, which is Evelyn. We have an Evelyn. And of course, Evelyn deals a lot of ability power. So whenever I engage with the Evelyn, we're absolutely going to demolish the enemies. Because the enemies are going to take 15% more magic damage. So you know, um, I found it. I actually found it pretty hard to come up with a good Galio build. It took me like 20 games to get to, you know, to really understand how to build Galio. So um, I really want you to pay close attention during this video about how I mentioned to you to um, build Galio, you know. So take a look here. I'm ready, I'm going to my team, I know that the Shivana is going to walk here, and BOOM! I save my teammate, and I got the kill for Evelyn. This is how you, this is, this is team play. This is beautiful team play that I'm doing right here. Always, always, always helping my team, as you can see, easy kill. I'm never leaving my team alone, and the thing about Galio is, he's really, really nice at rotating. Because first of all, your ultimate, you can use your ultimate from super far away to give your allies uh, a magic resist shield and jump on top of them. Secondly, his abilities are beautiful at stopping enemies from chasing your team. Like you can use your third ability to go on top of the enemy as you saw that I did on the Shivana. And if you use your third ability, you'll stop them because you'll knock them up for almost one second, which will stop them and your teammates can escape. And on top of that, um, uh, on top of that, you can use your second ability to taunt the enemy. So, as you can see here, I used my ultimate. Let me tell you the reason that I used my ultimate. I thought that the Evelyn would actually charm the enemy. And if she charmed the enemy, I would have hit my ultimate free kill. But unfortunately, she wasn't able to charm the enemy. So, that's why my ultimate completely missed. But that was my thought process of the ultimate, you know. So here, in a situation like this, look at your map. Three people bot lane, one person top lane. What do I need to do? Push this lane, you know, push. However, they are rotating to me, but I still need to push this lane to make the enemy lose farm, you know. That's what I need to do in a situation like this. And um, I can get an Abyssal Mask now. And I really want to get it before the next dragon, because it's going to be absolutely huge for the next dragon fight. Like, when I get this item, I'm going to be so strong. And look at this beautiful combo. I just... Just half life this Zix like it's nothing. And take a look at this. He just died because of everything. Like so, so good. This is what you can do on Galio, guys. He is tanky and he can deal damage. And this is why th this is why the build that I just made is really, really nice on Galio. Because first of all, you'll be really tanky. Secondly, you'll deal a lot of damage as well. And you will skill into the late game. Like this is how you want to play Galio, guys. And um um yeah what was i gonna say <laughs> yeah so let's take a look at how we're gonna fight again and um galio is really really nice at dealing poke damage as well but poke in a different way poke as in you engage you engage you deal your damage and you go out look at this look at this oh what <laughs> he has no chance and i think the enemies had enough and they surrendered the game guys so this absolutely like this is how you want to play on galio and the funny thing would be the further we get into the late game the more damage i would even deal 
And you know what? If this video reaches 1000 likes, I'll do another Galio video like this week, okay? So look, I'm MVP, of course. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Again, sorry for this video of not being professional. You know, I couldn't edit it because it's 4 a.m. already. I need to wake tomorrow. Like I played all night to make this video. So thank you very much for watching. And I will see you all in the next Wild Earth video. Bye-bye.